Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra. I'm coming to you today from the Peace Garden in Mount Shasta with beautiful Huan Yin. And I wanted to address the level of light that's coming in at this time. This is unprecedented. The reason why is we now have interdimensional portals which have opened. You might be experiencing them as pinpoints of light when you close your eyes. It looks like a star map sometimes when you close your eyes. You might be seeing, uh, it, it's not the sparkles that we used to see. These are actual portals opening up through the dimensions and into, and, and bringing in rather, the fifth dimensional frequency that is going to transform Gaia and humanity forever. There is no more waiting. Equinox is, is the end of the Ascension Gateway, and the Ascension Gateway was that time during the, the squeeze of that vortex where something new was going to be created. And this is it. Gaia ascended in December, and now all of us get to experience resurrection. It's the whole the whole metaphor is playing out so beautifully. Born on the solstice, rise uh, on the equinox, and ascend 40 days later. So here we are. We are, we are upon the equinox. We, we've been seeing this as the opportunity for Gaia. And when you feel the, the level of light, those of us who have opened up to this, we now experience this new level of light. We now experience fifth dimension coming into those crystalline structures that have been set up and expanding into this, this level of unconditional love that is universal. This is the grand expansion of consciousness that we have been predicting, waiting for. There is no more waiting. It is here. This becomes a very individual spiritual journey. Oddly enough, as we move into unity consciousness, it still takes your participation. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is Sunday afternoon uh, in the middle of the, the, the G2 magnetic storm and the new light that has been coming in since the new moon. You know, this isn't something that happens on equinox. This is starting to come through and it's getting so incredibly intense. Okay, focus. I wanted to share a couple of things, and I hope you can hear me through the breeze. I experienced the, the birth of my solar cosmic Christ this week, and it was uh, un unbelievable, and it is uh, seamless. It's, it, it doesn't even feel, um, it, it's me, <laughs> you know, I keep saying, you know, it's us, it, this is you. Welcoming this forth, it's it's the, the, the birthing that new dawn is here. I have a feeling that the, the the resurrection that we have all been promised that has been seeded here on the planet for so long and is now coming to fruition because of our participation and because of the decisions made by Gaia, we we are here. This is available. And this is something that, it, you know, if you've been in the Course, use your highest discernment when you're going through this, this equinox. And it, it's now. It's not Wednesday, oh, let me check my watch. Here, here we go, meditation. It's now. It's now. Bill Ballard has a, a, a global meditation going on on Tuesday. Brilliant. Because all of us are, are feeling this. The folks that get to step ahead first. This doesn't become the, there is no more battle, that it's over, and the, and the duality thing gets recreated by creator incarnate. That is how powerful we are. We're actually creating something that doesn't even exist anymore. So when you walk away from that and you feel into what is, what is available, what is this light doing, yes, there's a photonic light photonic magnetic light, the light that I said that would come in and light up those golden solar disks within you and that your own, your own central sun, you as the solar cosmic Christ, that, that solar logos, 
that has been discussed for eons. This is amazing that we are conscious about walking through this right now and embodying that. And, and those of us who, who decided to be way showers and decided to go first, I'm sure all of you are feeling it at this time, an, an absolute presence, impenetrable, protected, stronger than ever, absolute, just, just, there, it's absolute, it is absolute presence, and there, there is for, for, for us and for everyone that we can, we can convince to participate in this week, it's available for you. How this solar Christed consciousness is going to present to the outside world, I don't know. Truly, I don't know. I know for me, internally, my own personal experience is, is not, not just fascinating anymore. It's, it feels, uh, I'm, I'm getting all of me back, and all of me is the universe. It's, it's that Krishna, Christed state of consciousness. I am all that is. And when you welcome that state forth, it's not something that gets poured into you. This is you getting your power back. Take it back. This is bringing that, that solar self back. Is available now because Gaia is doing the exact same thing. She is becoming a spiritual sun for, for this solar system, for this galaxy. The sun is changing itself. Solaris is, is turning into a central sun. This is, and, and all of this energy that's coming in through the Pleiades, through the Scion, through the galactic center, it gives you everything that you need. This is your nourishment. This is, you, you say yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, and it will continue to light up what you already are. And Gaia, dear beloved, beloved Gaia, is, is releasing all of the memories of what occurred here, because it doesn't matter. We're transforming everything. If you want to continue to participate in the, the light, dark, good, no good judgment game, I'm, you know, I, that, that has nothing to do with my journey anymore. And I love you anyway. <laughs> there is no, there is no judgment. You know, if you want to continue to play that, it, I feel that it's going to get very uncomfortable for you. And that's why I've made so many materials on of guidance because, as an ascension guide, that was my role. My role is changing as I step into this this solar Christ itself. I don't know what's going to happen. This is the mastery journey, surrendering. All that I, all that I thought I was, in order to become all that I truly am. And when I had that visit from from Yeshua and Archangel Michael last fall, and they said, "Do you need to? We're, we're going to take this from you. We're going to take the the identity, all all of that. A lot of wayshower journeys. The people who are absolutely out there, who have been the, doing." The, the heavy lifting for a long time. This is when it all shows. This is the elevation of our consciousness, the expansion out to the fifth dimension. You, you know, resonating at the 4D, you get to expand out to five and feel all that is. The void between the fourth and fifth dimension is, is down. We are at the point of no veils. These pinpoints, these little, little, uh, uh, pinpoint like pricks through the the remaining veils piercing this astral plane that we're existing in right now is bringing in the fifth dimension whether it unfolds with a full three days of darkness with the sun changing and Gaia ch we don't know all is well no matter what happens feel this feel this level of love and light within you this is don't worry or participate in anything that feels unnecessary, that feels like, I did this yesterday. Don't do anything that you did 
yesterday outside of wake up and continue to expand your consciousness. You know, get out in nature. I know, G2, magnetic storm, oh my god, I'm sitting out in it. And, uh, uh, you know, you can see Shasta. Thank you, my love. This is, it, it's fine. It's pretty intense. Of course it is. And the releasing of all that we were con continues since the new moon, you know, prior to the new moon. A lot of us doing a lot of transmuting for the collective. Stuff coming up like draconian rape. That didn't even happen to me. <laughs> you know? This is this is something that Gaia is just tossing off these memories. And one of the memories she's tossing off is duality itself. This idea of clinging to to conspiracy or trying to trying to fight religion, trying to f it doesn't let it dissolve. Let it dissolve. This new light is autonomous. It has a purpose. And this is its purpose, to turn us into the highest frequency possible so that we show humanity what is possible, first of all, teach it, spread it around. It's going to be easy once, once we are all fully activated, of course. It's going to be easy. It's physics. The higher vibration always sucks up the lower vibration. It's, it's impossible to, to recreate duality when that frequency exists on the planet. We don't know, as, as, as all of us as a creative collective, creator incarnate collective, have free will. We always have had free will. Higher self has free will. We have free will. What you do with it is, is your business. If you want to experience the freedom where we don't have to worry about money, jobs, what are we going to do about the, uh, the Illuminara? Uh, Gaia is releasing all of that. And if we keep holding on to it, uh, uh, dear mother is, is headed out. You know, this is, this is an experience that she is, is having. We wouldn't be experiencing it if she were not having it. This is a platform. You don't, you don't create a planetary ascension in your own mind. You know, this, this is something that, is the, that she has decided to, to create, and we are supporting it. And now, this, this brilliant mastery school that we have all been here for, uh, well, not all of us, many of us have been here for a lot of it, 798 incarnations, and some dimensionally before that as a Pleiadian. It's been a long journey, and it's all gone. It doesn't even matter. It's poof. You know, it, it's, it's the same experience of, of that zero-point dynamic of what what'd you do yesterday. I, um, I, you know, barely remember. Let it go. It doesn't matter. Don't try. You know, don't tether yourself to something that is, isn't even there anymore. You know, we are creator incarnate. Move into the higher consciousness. Move into this. This is brilliant and it's transforming all that is. And everything that we thought we were going to have to do, fighting, battling, unfolding, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. I don't think so. Perhaps there is a, a, holo a 4D hologram <laughs> that gets to support that for a while people who really want to create it, because you are creator, creator incarnate, and if you're really just dying to see it, you will be dying <laughs> to see it. And it's, you know, that's not doom. I'm just saying you, you, you get what you invest your consciousness in, you know? Invest your consciousness in exactly what you want to experience. The brilliance that you are is here. It's available. We're still doing the bridge work, linear things. Here's a video, here's a column, here's an interview. To be with Gaia through this, you know, I had asked back in December <laughs> if, uh, if I could witness her birthing into a star. And the answer was, we'll get back to you later. <laughs> and I got my answer this week. 
I, I just want to connect with that. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter all the linear stuff. Who's going to answer the emails? You know, I'm a one-woman show with Creative Evolution. It's fine. I, I you know, pure way shower. Go within. This is your spiritual journey as much as it is the way showers who have been there for you. You know, we're, we're not leaving. Nobody's leaving the planet. The planet is taken off with all of us. You know, yes, splintering of realities. Here we go. What's happening to the other guys? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to create something and draw everyone into that. No man left behind. We don't get to choose when you do that. That is your free will. We are offering yourself to you. We're offering that Gaia's platform of the ascended master walking upon a fifth dimensional planet. This is what is occurring right now. This is a, a completely new experience. Hard to describe too. But the solar cosmic Christ, that true embodiment that changes everything. Forget about your chakras, forget about your energy fields, forget about forget about all of that. Just be it. Just be it. Just step into it. Create the ceremony. Create whatever it is that is presenting for you. If you need guidance, here it is. Get out in nature. Put your hands on the planet itself. This is this is where all of your knowledge is. This is, you know, Gaia remembers everything that you are. She remembers who you are. And when you connect with her, she will show you that. And then it becomes a galactic celebration. There is, I, I, I can't really say what is going to occur with me and my interaction with the light ships. I'm not getting on one. I highly recommend that everybody stay with the planet. But the, the, the interaction right now is through the heart. I could send out a beam of gold from my heart and get a flash back instantly. It's just like that. And this is this is the, the support and everything is is because I have allowed that Christ itself to Come forth. Here it is. Here it is. And now we get to go through our little transfiguration on the mountain. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. It doesn't it doesn't matter. My journey doesn't matter. You know, I've I have done my best up to this point. We'll see what happens. But this is what when you see me cheering up on the mountain in those previous videos, it's because I knew I I felt this and now this becomes deeply sacred and spiritual and and you that that spirit that is you has incarnated just comes right back that doesn't mean that we're all walking around like gurus you get your unique expression of exactly what you are your your truth your resurrection i am the resurrection the truth and the light, the light of this world. I am all that I am. This is all of us. I, I don't see this, this doom thing that so many people have been focused on and all the conspiracy. Let it go. You know, the easiest way to, to dissolve it is to not create it anymore. Creator incarnate. Don't participate. Don't watch it. Don't comment on it. Don't feed into it. Don't spread it around. Let it die. Let it go. Let it drop away. All this stuff that is getting released from Gaia, from ourselves, right out of the planet. The stuff that presents is, it's like the sadness after rage. All of the rage is over. Then there's, okay, now I have to walk away. Walking away from the battle. And it's, it's not, we won! 
It's becoming one. With all that is, again. And Gaia becoming all that she is, again. And that is our first step in creating exactly what we want instead of recreating what does not serve in the highest interest of all concern any longer. I was going to make a guided meditation for the equinox similar to the one that I made with the 12-12-12. But there really is no need because I want it to be you. I want it to be you creating your own <laughs> resurrection during this time. The simplest thing you can do is open up the heart center Command all of your internal portals open, the micro wormholes in the highest quality DNA. All of the portals within open and align with the interdimensional portals opening at this time, delivering photonic, magnetic, fifth dimensional frequencies to this planet. I fully accept these activations. I fully accept these energies. Breathe in if you need to receive that way. Right into the heart center. Go, do the solar logos on this. Spread it up and down, out side to side. You are the sun. Spread it out. And keep expanding, keep expanding. Breathe it in, expand. Breathe it in, expand. And command. Decide. <laughs> come here. Decide. Uh... Hey, brother, come here. Decide that you want this to be birthed. No doubt. I welcome forth my solar cosmic Christ. Go ahead. I welcome forth my solar cosmic Christ. And if you so choose, I am the resurrection and the light. I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am the light of this world. I am all that I am. I connect my heart center to the fifth, sixth dimensional crystalline core of Gaia. Crown chakra level vortex open, open dimensionally. I connect to my I am presence, to source itself. I open myself as a pure conduit of source consciousness the pure light intelligence of unconditional love. Let it radiate from every particle of my beingness. So it is. It's as simple as that. This is available if you so choose. I love you all so very, very much. The, the level of love is it's been an absolute honor serving in this way and will continue to be an honor in whatever way I choose to serve and Gaia chooses to use me after the equinox. I'm going to be up on the mountain for days. I want that experience. I want to let myself have it. <laughs> and uh, let yourself be transformed. It's fine. If you want to watch a way show or do it, or I'll do it. You can see the people who have, have received this, have received that activation, have received the, the knowing, unwavering, absolute peace, absolute presence. It's amazing beautiful. And I honor all of the dear brothers and sisters who are embodying this and have worked so hard to get here. Thank you. It's truly an honor in Lakesh. Have a beautiful equinox and a beautiful week. I'll see you later this week.